Okay, today's topic is going to be subtracting across zeros. This can usually be a little tricky for some people when they first start regrouping. So as we learn to subtract regular numbers and regroup and take from a tens and give to the ones, sometimes there can be some problems with this. And let's take a problem like 502 minus 183. Now you look at this and you probably take notice that the 2, when I'm starting with the 1's place, is less than my 3 below here. So naturally we know from learning regrouping that you go over to the 10's place. But there's a problem when I look at this 10's place. When I look at the tens place, I see a zero. And typically, you would take from the tens and go ahead and give to the ones place, but there's nothing I can give. It's zero in the tens place. So I actually have to, in this problem, go over two places to the hundreds place. Now I take one of those hundreds. When I take a hundred, I have four hundred left. And I give one of my hundreds to the tens and that becomes a 10 above the 0. Now, going back to my 1's place, I can now take from my 10's place, which is now a 10, take 1, which would now become a 9, and give 1 to my 1's place. I keep my 2 and give it a 10. 10 plus 2 is going to be 12, right above. So now that I've regrouped, it looks like 12 minus 3. 12 minus 3 is going to be 9. Now I have a nice organized problem that is 9 minus 8 in my tens place. It's going to be 1. And then I have 4 minus 1, so 3. Now that was a quick introduction. Let's see what happens when we make it a little bit more difficult. Let's say a problem like 4,000 2 minus, say, 297. Now I have a couple zeros I see. I'm already looking ahead. I see a few zeros there at the top in my 4,000 number. So I'm going to, again, start with my ones place here. Let's go ahead and switch my color. And I have my one's place is a 2 and a 7. I notice that my 2 is smaller than my 7, so I want to regroup here. Well, I go to my 10's place, and there's nothing to take again. It's 0. There's no value there. I can't take anything to give over to my 1's place. So I go to my 100's place like I did in the last problem, but again, there is not a value there that I can take and, and start moving over the 1's place. So I have to go all the way to my 1000's place and take one from my thousands, which becomes a three, and give it now. I can't skip all the way to the ones place. I have to give it directly to the one on the right side here. I can only give it to this place first. Now I have a 10. Well, working my way down, I now want to cross this off, make it a nine, because I want to keep giving to the place to the right, because the lonely old ones place needs to be bumped up there so I can subtract the 7. And I'm getting closer. Make that a 10. Well, I need to take one now to give over to my 1. So I'm going to take one from my 10s. It becomes a 9. Give a 10 to my 2. And now that becomes a 12. Now my problem is set up nice and neat where I have 12 minus 7. It's going to be 5. 9 minus 9. 0. I have 9 minus 2. 7 and then 3 and there's nothing down here in the thousands on my 200 number so it's just 3 minus 0 and then I count over 1, 2, 3 spaces put my comma in nice and neat and my difference in this problem is 3,705 now I'd like to challenge you to a larger problem and if you can get this problem you can just about do any subtraction problem across zeros. 
if you take your time and you follow what we had done in the earlier problems, I think you can get this. I encourage you to go ahead and press pause in the video. Try this on your own on a little scratch sheet of paper. If you can come up with this, you definitely are on your way to being a master of regrouping. Okay, I hope you had paused the video because now we're going to go over your work to see how you did. Now, I notice I'm looking here at my zero and zero minus seven without getting negative numbers, I need to go regroup. Well, I need to go to my tens place. Sure enough, at my tens place, there's a zero. So I'm gonna to go to my hundreds place and I just see a pattern here. It's zero after zero, go to my thousands place, another zero. I have to go all the way to my 10 thousands place before I even see something I can regroup and move down. So let's go ahead and begin. And I know since I went all the way down to my 10 thousands, if I take a 10,000 away from 50,000, I have 40,000 or four left. I need to give this to my thousands place. Cross that 10 off, make that a nine. Make this a 10 here. Cross that off and you can probably see the, how the pattern's working. And I'm gonna cross this off, make that a 10 because I'm giving them to the places I'm regrouping. Another nine up here. Cross this off and this becomes a 10. So I have now subtracted and regrouped. I haven't actually officially subtracted. I've regrouped all the way down and gotten now a number that I can work with. I have 10 minus 7, 9 minus 8, 9 minus 9, 9 minus 1, 4, and nothing. So really, when you look at this problem in the end, it's, it's really a manageable problem at this point. Let's take a look and see if we can come up with the correct response, and we'll see how you did with your your scratch paper. So we have 10 minus 7 is 3, 9 minus 8, we have 1, 9 minus 9, we have 0, we have 9 minus 1, we have 8 here, we have 4 minus 0 is going to be 4. So I'm going to say we have 1, 2, 3, comma goes here between after the third, so select our pin. So we have comma there, and there's not another three that I need to put another comma in. So now I have the difference of 48,000. Let's go ahead and select this. Let's try this. 48,000, and there's no value in there, so let's say 13. 48,013 is my difference. How did you do? Thanks for joining me on this uh, subtracting across zeros. Hopefully you're doing well and you're catching on. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.